In this table we're trying to establish a rule to work out the y values based on the given x values. So what we need to do is ask ourselves some questions. First of all let's have a look at the first difference and see if the pattern's linear. You can see that the table has a difference of 3 minus 1 equals 2 then 7 minus 3 equals 4. So that's not a linear pattern because the first difference is not consistent. Now let's have a look at the second difference which is basically the difference of the first differences. 4 minus 2 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, so that is consistent and we can say that it's a quadratic pattern. So a constant second difference gives us a quadratic pattern. The general rule for a quadratic is an expression with an x squared term and an x term and what's called a constant at the end. So we need to work out a rule to find these a, b and c values to fit in our quadratic rule. Let's have a look what happens when we replace the x value in our quadratic rule with a 0. What you get is 0 squared is 0 and b times 0 is 0. What comes out is c. Let's have a look what happens when we put a 1 in there. When you have 1 squared you get a. 1 times b is b so we get a plus b plus c. When we put a 2 where the x is we get 2 squared is 4. 2 times b is 2b and we end up getting 4a plus 2b plus c. Putting a 3 where the x is, we get 3 squared is 9 and 3 times b is 3b, so we get 9a plus 3b plus c. So all of the y values that we can see in our table have come about by putting values for x of 0, 1, 2 and 3 into the general rule. To work out the first difference in these algebraic expressions, we go a plus b plus c minus c. In other words, we're working out the differences when x is 0 and x is 1 and that gives us a plus b. The c's are eliminated. Let's see what happens when we work out the next difference. We can see that 4a minus a gives 3a, 2b minus b gives b, and the c's once again are eliminated. The next difference is 5a plus b because 9a minus 4a is 5a, 3b take 2b is b, and once again the c's are eliminated. Let's have a look at the second differences which are the differences of the first difference values. 3a minus a is 2a and the b's are eliminated. 5a minus 3a also gives 2a and once again the b's are eliminated. So we have a constant second difference which is what we expected for a quadratic rule. We can match these algebraic differences up to our differences in our actual table at the beginning of this problem. The important thing to realise is that our tables must start with x equals 0 and go up in consecutive x values. We can see that under the x equals 0, c is the only value and that matches 1. The first difference, a plus b, matches in this case 2. And the second difference, 2a, matches the second difference in our actual values of 2. Algebraically, that gives us c equals 1, a plus b equals 2, and 2a is equal to 2. We can solve this algebraically. If 2a equals 2, that means that a equals 1, and we can sub that back into the uh, equation above that and say that if a plus b equals 2, b must also be 1 to give us 1 plus 1 is 2. So our general rule, given that a, b and c in this case are all equal to 1, gives us an equation of y equals 1x squared plus 1x plus 1, or to make it simpler, y equals x squared plus x plus one.